Four women brought together by unfortunate circumstances. Meet Charlotte Witherspoon, waitress from Texas. Valdis, an art student from California. Carmen Ciparelli, wife and mother from New Jersey. And Lola Nose, self-proclaimed big deal on YouTube. What do these four women have in common? They are quarantine. Okay, you guys, Vinny and his crew, they're on their way. They will be flying in to, what, Minneapolis? And, uh, geez, what do you say? He's going to rent a van. Going to rent a van, and they'll have us out of here by midnight. Oh, I'm so scared. What if they find out Lola stole the phone? What, what if they find out we know? We're, that we're on to them. What if they find out Vinny's coming? What if they... Shut up. Oh, oh I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. Come here, Charlotte. We're going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Well, what should we do while we wait? I mean, we have to find something to do to occupy our time. Tell stories, funny anecdotes, jokes, anybody? Um, Charlotte, what do you think about finding out that you are a wealthy woman and the sole heir to your father's fortune? Oh gosh, Lola, I haven't even had time to think about that. Have you seen a picture of him? How did your parents meet? Mama always told me he was dead. He died in the war. You know, my aunt, she did tell me he was alive, but I never in my wildest dreams imagined he was wealthy. Hey, Carmen, tell us how you met Vinny. Oh, God, Vinny. Oh, Lord. He's something else, that one. Vinny and I were teenagers when we met our parents. We, uh, we were, both families were at the shore this one summer and we met at the beach. He was the most obnoxious kid I'd ever seen, but he would not give up. He pursued and he pursued till I finally let him catch me. My parents did not like his family. They thought they were a bunch of jamooks. We dated for the last two years of high school and then right after graduation, we got married. What can I say? The guy grew on me. This is so romantic. Not. Azrael and I, we met at happy hour at the Shrunken Head. I asked him to dance, and we've never been apart since then. Till now. We took a blood vow. We promise to always be honest and true. A blood vow? Oh, I'm afraid to ask. We lit candles all around in a circle. And then we sat in that circle facing one another. We declared our love. And then we sliced our fingers and sucked each other's blood to seal the deal. Yeah, I kind of thought that's what it was going to be like. Miss Lola, have you ever been married? Well, I'm not supposed to mention this really. It's, it's been a heavily guarded secret. Um, I've been married to George Clooney for the last 10 years. Um, you know, we thought that with his career and all, he's got a huge, the fan base is, you know, mostly women. So we thought because of that, that, you know, he looks better as a single man. Yeah, we've been happily married for 10 years. I travel with him all the time. Everybody thinks I'm his personal assistant. <laughs> oh, I assist him all right. Well, Miss Lola knows. Look at you with George Clooney, eh? Lucky woman, you. Listen, you guys, it's starting to get late. We need to head to the closet. I think the closet in my room is the biggest. Let's hunker down, 
on, y'all. Carmen, jeez, you stepped on me with your friggin' stilettos. Shut it, you. Oh, shoot, I should've went to the bathroom. I always have to pee when I'm nervous. we have to say goodbye. It's been so nice getting to know you girls. We've all exchanged contact information. Let's keep in touch, shall we? I do think I'm gonna cry! You girls have been like sisters to me! Valdis, you come give me a hug! I need a hug your neck! We'll get together sometime, like a reunion. I'll cook. That's a wonderful idea, Carmen. Please take care of yourselves and keep in touch. 